Finally, 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 what we've all been waiting for, well, if you're a console player or play with a controller on PC, um, we finally have separate building sensitivity. No more having to decide whether or not, you know, you're accurate enough to shoot the person or quick enough to build and having to choose either way. Because honestly, if you can't, if you can't build fast enough, you're going to be at a disadvantage but if your aim is off because you're used to playing at lower sensitivity, you know, you don't play on max, then when you do get a chance to actually, you know, hit somebody or shoot them in a build fight, you can't miss. You know what I mean? You you can't miss. If you if you miss that opportunity, that's it. You're not going to get many if they're extremely proficient, right? You have to make every shot count. So this is just an amazing change because now when you're building, you could build super fast and then you could still go to your low sensitivity to shoot somebody in the face you know this is definitely by far like the most awesome thing for me um i've been wanting this i know everyone's been wanting this to be playing a controller you've probably been wondering why this isn't even part of the game already like this is absolutely amazing the custom controls were great and a lot of people are doing a lot of cool stuff with different things as far as editing and all that but this is by far like the best thing ever um as well as if you play on builder pro there's also this uh, setting they added. Where is it right here? Um, so for this build immediately, it says when switching to a different build piece using Builder Pro, it will try to build immediately. So if you've ever been running even just a basic build, right? And you ramp, wall, ramp, wall. You're trying to just do a very simple ramp, right? It literally will sometimes just like build the wall in front of your face. And you'll be like, wait, but I pressed ramp. And it's because when you're switching back and forth, there's a slight delay. So if you're not ex immediately on point, you know, even a tiny little, tiny little slip up, it'll, uh, it'll mess you up. You'll end up running into a wall. So this is definitely a change that I look forward to because it happens to me, you know, every once in a while. Um, but it says try. So I don't know if it will, you know, I don't know how often that is or if you're still going to run into that problem. Um, they also added controller edit hold time. I set it to the lowest. I don't even know. You know, it says the duration of the hold of the button for entering edit mode. The duration to hold the button uh, for entering edit mode. Um, mine does it pretty quick, so I'm not really sure how that is. I just assume I want it as low as possible because I want to be able to edit as fast as possible. The controller sensitivity setting is awesome. and It's going to help us all compete a little better, you know, or actually a lot better. It's just an amazing change. But I think this is what a lot of people are interested in, is the new in-game tournaments. Like, this is so cool, because you don't have to worry about, like, oh, you're not popular enough or good enough to get invited to the skirmish. You know what I mean? Now you can, like, have a chance to make a name for yourself on this. Um, so they added the tournament tab right next to, you know, challenges and locker. Um, you could check the event details. And if you press square, you can see the tournament details. So you can see like what you need, three eliminations, one point, five eliminations, plus one point. You know, and it tells you the exact times and everything like that. Um, this is the practice event, you know, the first one. Um, and you can see, you can go through the days. Um, I'm pretty sure they're probably all like the same tournament details. Um, so basically right there, score up to six points every match by eliminating multiple opponents and surviving against the competition. Score at least 20 points total in a session to earn a shiny pin. Um, I'm not sure what that shiny pin is. I'm not sure if it's like an emote and you can throw up the shiny pin like, hey, look, I have one. Or if it's just something you kind of keep like a in-game trophy. Um, but it's definitely really it's definitely really cool that anyone can participate in this. Um, it's really awesome. It says there's event times. So, um, you know, it tells you the event times. But I'm not sure if that how that affects people in different regions. Like my tournament region region says Asia. Um, because I live in Japan, but I don't know if like that's my local time or it's just always the same time for everyone. Um, since you'd be playing against your own region, I'm not I'm not really sure how time zones affect or if everything is um you know specific. So if I'm looking at it and it says like 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., then it's going to be 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. my time. Um, I would assume because otherwise, what's the point of even having the region, right? Um. So there's that. Um, it's definitely going to be cool. So 
There's your Friday night, Fortnite every Friday, so you can compete in this. It's going to be pretty cool. Like, I think people are going to have so much fun. It's squads. I love squads. If you don't know, that's what I play mostly. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. Um, the timing might be a little hard for me if I play with my friends on NA because, you know, obviously I'll be like at work during that time. But this is definitely just amazing um, for everyone. It's so cool that this is in the game and anyone can participate in it. And it resets, you know, each time. So like, you know, when you go on to the next one, it'll reset and you can, you know, basically start from scratch. Um, it's really cool, too, because you're going to be able to have like matchmaking. So you're going to play against people of similar points. So if you're up there, you're about to, you know, you have, you know, 18, 19 points. You're looking for your pin. So are the other people in your game, you know, so or at least as close as possible. Right. So that means you're going to get more competition, which is good. It's about as close to like that ranked feeling in Fortnite since Solo Showdown. Right. So it's cool because there's a scoring system, but that actually has a matchmaking. So this is even better than Showdown. So I definitely like it. I think a lot of people are going to love it. We all love competition, right? So it's going to be awesome. Um, I look forward to seeing how it plays out. But until next time.